Hey, you wanna go hook up with the air drill? Thought so. Don't play with fireworks, Colin. I don't. I play with firecrackers instead. Well, this is a bottle rocket, so what's that classify as? Flying object. <laughs> Flying firecrackers. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Morning. Well, this week I'm hoping to get going on some winter wheat seeding. First, got to spray the fields for that and do a little tillage, actually, which is kind of against everything I believe, but oh well. We'll talk about that later. Sauger, I mentioned the other day, got a new starter flight on it. We're gonna work on that first because we got a load of canola taken out yesterday. He comes back for another load, we'll have to jump into the other bin because that whole, well, everything that's in that first bin is gonna be empty. Got a conveyor under that bin. Now we're gonna put an auger into a different bin to load out next, so. Get this thing fixed. We got some hydraulic oil. Things low on oil because we got some leaks. Hydraulic hoses are leaking there. But we gotta get the starter flight off first. Pull the sprocket off. Get the bearing off the shaft. Shove the shaft down so we can work on the flight out the other end. Oh, so close. Where's your safety glasses at, Colin? <laughs> Do you see all the comments? Oh my, I was gonna say something to you about I'm like, everyone, safety glasses. I honestly did not know there was that much fly until I looked on the video. It didn't... I didn't even realize it either. <laughs> Pull it and put the valve stem in. That so was easy. Of course, that's bigger. Why would it be? That one is so beautiful. Well, you can see this is starting to get pretty wore out. Quite a few places really thin. So next time, it's supposed to look like this. Cupped flighting. Maybe this isn't actually cupped. Probably isn't actually cupped, but I made myself a note. Second time starter flighting's been replaced. Replace whole flight next time. Yeah, I paraphrased that. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? I think so. How about now? Uh, yeah. You still ready? Yeah. I'll let you know when the bird goes flying. If the block will hit me, it'll be all right. <laughs> Ooh. Done. Done. There's no substitute for blunt force, right? Nope. Well, that's all back together. Chains back on, bearings are greased. Go on, grease the top drive shaft bearings there too. Chain lube it and away. Oh yeah, we gotta put the other bottom end back on yet. I bet you'd run without that. Yeah, I don't know if we'll do this number. Probably. That's the non-fly off stuff, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers, you. 
I don't like this stuff. Duggo would be very ashamed of you right now. Oh, don't now you're gonna walk, track it all over the floor. <laughs> Oil the boots. Uh, Colin. Yes. Why is it all over the skid steer? Uh, because it shot past the chain and it hit the skid steer. Oh, you're a horrible aim. Well, we got a crimp that's not quite tight enough on our flow divider here for running the drag auger. So we got the hose crimper pulled up close by here. Got a few zip ties, shove it in and recrimp it. Sure beats taking it off. There we go. It's a nice shirt you got on today. Yeah, it's Paisley. Paisley. You and them pearl button. That's not even a pearl button. No. Nope, so is it a fake not. Paisley? I don't know what a Paisley means. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Dad brought the spray truck back home today. That was over in the shed, keeping it out of the sun. Getting that filled up. Sprayer. It's in the shed here. We'll get that out of here. Get the chemicals already here. Lots of things are here. We're gonna go wreck some fields. The tillage, hopefully. Have the uh, old 30 foot Melrose toolbar winged up in the tree row back here that uh, needs a little work. We'll see if we can make it working again. Make it working. Work it. Everybody needs a towel loader jack on the farm. It even fits. Imagine that. Nice. Yeah, that looks like fun, don't it? Actually, the first toolbar I ever pulled behind a tractor in the field. We also call that unprepared scrap iron in these parts. I had an explosion. I had an explosion. It was my fault. Actually, it was years of sitting and rotting's fault. Yeah, first, I think that was the fire. First hydraulic hose. Yeah, that does look a little melted, doesn't it? Back over, let's see the combine over there. There used to be a shed in this toolbar was parked next to it and that shed caught on fire burned this tire off damaged that next one dad's changing the tire bearings are good yet it also burned some hydraulic hoses so moral of the story don't play the fireworks do you know that's what happened yeah your dad told me that oh okay fireworks landed on the roof went to bed middle of the night shed burned down we heard it uh Woke us up when the duels off the MX200 that went up against it started blowing up. And all the tin for that shop was in that building. Don't play with fireworks, Colin. I don't. I play with firecrackers instead. Well, this is a bottle rocket, so what's that classify as? Flying object. Flying firecrackers. <laughs> yeah. Since we can't find a 15 inch tire around the farm and those bearings are seized up on the outside, these wings were added, extended, a whole three feet on each side to make a 24 foot into a 30 foot. Did I say that right? Three feet on each side? That's what I said, right? Yeah, yeah. something like that. So we're gonna move this over to here and then build a new tie rod that goes from here to the cylinder bracket back there. Because we don't really wanna spend any money on this. So far, we haven't spent a dime on anything. No, not yet. Not yet, we've all scavenged up some old hydraulic hoses and tires, used tires. We just might make it work. Just might, just might. Here we go, new tire. Well, an old blow master off my camper. On there, got that all moved over. One hose left. And we're ready to do some tillage things tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning. One more hose to fix. So Colin's getting a couple old hoses where they were bad, cut out. 
We got some old crimp on ends from not a Gates machine, but some machine like portable thing they had for out in the field. So they are uh, a couple Maddox. So we crimp those with this machine though. There we go. Because who doesn't like 17 fittings? They can only need two. <laughs> hey, this is a no, no buying anything project. It's true. It's all free. Used you free think? stuff that won't probably last. <laughs> Going to the field. this with the quick till and it incorporated the straw real nice thought we did a really good job with it and uh, went to seed the spring and all that long stubble that was cut up and put under the soil just got raked up by the shanks of the drill so it left a lot of straw bunches it really but it really made the field rough so that's what we're trying to do these harrows are uh, on the back of the toolbar do a good job of kind of dragging that stubble across the top and that residue and dropping it evenly. It's doing a really good job of leveling stuff off. We're getting up in a low spot up here and I'll show you the difference between untilled and tilled pass going through the field here. It got really rough in the combine and that's kind of what made us want to do this. Seeding it for probably three, four, or five years before it would kind of level off from the drill. So, you know, we're experimenting a little bit. We used to do a lot of tillage. We used to work all the weeds down in the summer on the unseeded acres. We'd be about half and half, half seeded, half unseeded. And this was our weed control for the year, it was a cultivator and harrows or a cultivator and rod and harrows to just level off the weeds, cut them off, kill them. So we haven't used these for a lot of years because we've been doing continuous cropping, seeding every acre or chem follow before that. So these are those bunches that the drill left. You come over here, it looks uneven, but these are all nice and loose. They'll, uh, they'll kind of scatter out real nice. I hope they're shorter now. The stubble's chewed up a little bit more. I think we're getting somewhere. This straw is usually 100 plus bushel wheat, so there's lots of residue down here. It's probably the worst spots in the field for it. But yeah, Colin's gonna keep working on this field. Let's go back to the shop and see what's going on there. 
making dust. Sitting in the tractor, just sitting here going back and forth, and I got to thinking, man, tractors have come such a long way. Farming way back then, pulling 30 feet at a time, and they some of the tractors didn't have cabs. And, and seeing all the dust that's flying around, oh, you'd be breathing in a lot of dust, you'd be dirty, and here I'm sitting in a cab with AC, it's nice and cool in here, comfortable, and I got GPS, I don't have to pick a line and stare at something and hope to God it doesn't move, because if it moves then you do this number through the field. It's just crazy how technology has involved, tractors involved, tool bars, like don't even do this anymore. The straight continuous farming, no tillage. It's just crazy to think. Oh, I'm so happy technology and tractors have involved. So nice and slightly spoiled. Maybe one time I'd like to farm like they did way back then. Hey, you wanna go hook up with the air drill? Thought so. Go figure. Take two. We got the iPad in here for the Intelligent Inc. block engine. Need to grab the one for the climate yet. And we're up by the shop here, so we're gonna wing down so I can run the meters of the drill and uh, just make sure everything's free. Little nugget morsel of goodness for you, uh, Seed Master guys. Better hold that button down. But if you don't want to hold it down, you just slide your finger to the side and let it go. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, I got the meters to turn. My air compressor is blowing the circuit breaker though, so I'm not sure what's causing that. But 
the wind is slightly starting to decrease, so I better get the spray ready to go. Conquering Machinery Hill. A steep little hill that old tractors couldn't make it up. So let's get a batch of chemical mixed up here. If you guys haven't been along for spring season and just subscribed not too long ago, this is our spray trailer. It's from Fiber, it's called the Dash. Everything that's orange on here came from them. It has four separate cones that we can mix four separate chemicals in. There's a 65 gallon on each side and the two in the middle are 29, 30 gallons right in there. So we're gonna mix everything up. Dad comes back in the yard of the sprayer. Normally this is in the field, but we're just gonna batch up from the yard because we just have six loads to spray. Somewhere in there, six, seven loads. So this boom will come out. It has a hose on it to reach to the front load of the sprayer. Once everything's mixed up, we can fill the sprayer from the ground by pulling these valves down here. For each cone, this valve controls the valve at the bottom to suck the chemical out of the cone as well as run a rinser at the same time. So pretty handy to run all those. From here, up top, we can gravitate chemical down from up there into the cones. Two of the cones, the outside ones are plumb for that. And then uh, you can also run pumps from the bottom here into the cones there as well. We got lots of plumbing going on here. Open the valve. Let that one gravitate in. We have to mix a couple bags of uh, dry AMS in this cone, which has this air powered agitator. Get it all mixed up real nice. Doing my final pass around the field. Look at that sun. That's all done. 160 acres, done. That took a while with 30 foot, tell you what. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.